Well, hello there, my dear friends. Welcome back to the Scott Reed Project. Where have you been? It's been a while. But here we're back cooking one of my favorite game birds, the humble pigeon. Now what I wanna do, I wanna make some maybe slightly pretentious pigeon sliders. As you can see on this beautiful plate, I've got some pigeon breasts. Now I've got a pound of pigeon breast, that's a pound, and I'm gonna add some pure pork back fat. We've got a quarter of a pound there, so four ounces. That's the ratio you want is uh, one to four. All I'm gonna do in this bowl, I'm just gonna send it through the mincer, and then we're gonna think about how we wanna season these. Remember kids, don't wish at the devil. Don't do drugs, stay in school. So, I'll put that through the mincer and we'll be back. Okay then, there's our pigeon minced and mixed with our fat. We don't wanna manipulate this too much at the moment. We'll add in our herbs and our spices and then we'll give it a good mix. But I put a couple of pictures on Instagram and some dude said, is that a special kind of pigeon or is it a city pigeon? I said, well, this is one of the finest uh, wood pigeons from the countryside. Good life, good diet. Do not get eaten those city pigeons. You know, the ones raised on fag butts, one leg, hanging around in gangs, harassing pensioners for chips. No, you want the woody. Anyway, I digress. So we've got our fat and our meat. Now it's entirely up to you what you want to do here, you could just do salt and pepper or some herbs, but I just want to jazz it up. I want a bit of spice, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a bit of smoked paprika and a pinch of salt and a pinch, not too much pepper. And I saw this beautiful char grilled red pepper paste. And I'm just going to add a bit of that in. And then we get our hands in. Nice work, if you can get it. Now, quite a wettish meat pigeon, as you can see. So what I'm going to do, I want to roll these into my tiny little sliders, which in layman's terms is a small burger. And then I'm just going to put them on chill in the fridge. Oh, smells awesome. But what I will do is I'm just going to pinch a bit. Just make a little ball and I'm going to test fry that in the frying pan. Always a good thing to do. Then we can balance up our herbs, our spices. Okay, so check out this tiny little Lilliputian burger, even the Sylvanian families are going, dude, that's a small portion. Hey ho, if you wanna make them bigger, make them bigger. But just remember, all good things come in small packages. Just think Kylie Minogue, you know the drill. Anyway, all I'm here for is to check the seasoning. Okay then, so that needs a little bit more pepper. Now obviously this is the beauty of that test run. I'm gonna give it a little bit more salt as well. Not too much. I'm gonna ramp up a bit more smoked paprika. And then because it's gorgeous, give it a bit more of that. And then just get in there and give it a good old mix. It's a dirty job, but someone's gotta do it. Smells absolutely gorgeous, mine. So what we need to do then is to roll these into our burgers. Like I said, I'm doing those little sliders. If you wanna make a bigger burger, by all means do it. But the thing with pigeon, mainly pigeon, you know, you gotta be careful with the texture once it's minced. So, you know, you don't want a massive, massive burger. Hence when I made Pigeon sausages, kept them nice and thin. Right, now what we need to do is get a bowl of water. Right, those are the size 
of the rolls I'm serving it on. So what we need to do is hands in some water, just take a couple of balls, just eyeball this, you know, don't have to be too fussy. You might get a little bit of shrinkage, not too much. And then dip your hands in that water and you don't get into all kinds of bother. So I've rolled these into balls, some bigger than the others. What I'm gonna do is put this back in the fridge, let it chill, then we'll take them out, make some patties and get them in the pan. Some groovy looking things, aren't they? Catch the pigeon. Okay then, they've been on chill. Time to make some patties. I'm just gonna give them a little rough shaping. Really simple, you know, trying to gauge the size of that ridiculous size roll. And we're gonna get them in the pan. Couldn't be easier. Just gently patting them out. How good do they look? Right, I think I'm gonna just drain these on a plate. Obviously there was some oil in that paste. I don't want it staining the bun. Just finish off the lettuce, then a mini burger for each one. These are nuts. Just like that. Okay, a little bit of tomato. I thought, is that tomato gonna be as big as the roll? Well, as it turns out, quite obviously, yes. I'm gonna give it a dollop of barbecue sauce. And there we have it. My ridiculous mini spicy pigeon sliders. Okay then, let's try one. Pigeon slider with roasted red pepper, some paprika, some mayo, some lettuce, some tomato, some barbecue sauce. I'm hoping it's a little bit medium as well. And then there was five. They are absolutely amazing. And like I said, you've got to watch the texture with pigeons, so keeping them small really helps, but they're superb. And you know, dress it up how you want to, riff off it. You know, you haven't got to put what I put in. There's so many things out there you could put in. Any herbs, any spice, garlic, chilies, just go for it. So if you've enjoyed what you've seen here today on the SRP, please click subscribe. Also find me on my social media, on my Facebook two pages, Scott Ree and the Scott Ree Project. Get on there, click like. Also on my Twitter, the Scott Ree Project, and also get over to Instagram, at the Scott Ree Project. And if you're feeling like you wanna share some love, please do check out my Patreon page. But until next time, take care my friends. And if you can get a Woody, do it, because these, They'd be small, but they're beautiful. All the best. Mm.